If no sports fans, Jim here with a three minute AD, the Monday version. And today we're going to talk about relationships. But first, I want to just give you a heads up that uh, the AD Vantage Point podcast uh, this week will be having uh, a little expanded one. Last week we had some officials on. We got a lot of great looks from that on YouTube and in Spotify and uh, and Anchor FM. Um, this week we'll be having Dave Gardy from the NFL officials office as part of the podcast as well as um, executive director from Section 8, Pat Fizzarelli, uh, Paul Longo, one of the winningest coaches, football coaches in New York State history. Uh, three officials that were on last week will be on as well. And um, we just think it's going to be a great podcast. That's going to be Wednesday at 3 o'clock. We'll be posting it probably around 5, 5.30 on YouTube and, um, and Spotify. So um, let's get on board for that. Today's three minute AD though is about relationships, relationships that we need to have as we go into the season. It's not just relationships with your parents, relationships with your athletes, relationships with your coaches. It's relationships with the community and the staff in your school. Um, the best relationship you can have right now is one with your grounds department. I mean, whether you have artificial turf or not, it really doesn't matter. The grounds department is a critical piece of what you need done. If you need equipment moved, if you need the grass cut, if you need lines drawn, if you're not doing it yourself. Um, you know, I talked to a bunch of ADs down in North Carolina and, <clears throat> and they line their field. Um, we're fortunate here in New York. We don't necessarily do that. And, um, you know, we're happy we don't have to, but we know that that relationship with the grounds department is important. Our custodians, next most important group, if not on an equal level with the grounds department, because they're the ones that are going to help us set up the volleyball poles. They're going to ones that make sure the floor is clean, the bleachers are pulled out, the scorer's table is set up. If we're doing it as teams, hey, that's wonderful to help them out, but let's see if we can help them out by doing a couple of those things. Certainly don't do anything dangerous that could get you hurt. We also don't want to get involved in any issues with unions and grievances and the stealing work, but just know that you're there to help them out because we're short staffed. I mean, they talk about the bus driver shortage. They talk about the um, shortage in officials. Yeah, those are two glaring ones. There's also a shortage in custodians. Um, Sub custodians are there. They don't know the lay of the land. Help them out. Help out that head custodian in the building. Don't be afraid to get them a box of donuts one day or a bag of cookies or a cup of coffee. They mean so much to the operation. The blue collar is so forgotten in our lives, you know, we, we honor them one day a year and maybe we buy them a pizza at Christmas time. Every day they need to be thanked for the work that they do. Our ground staff, our custodial staff, our maintenance staff, you know, again, the maintenance guys, the carpenters, the plumbers, the electricians, those are the guys that keep the ball rolling for us. Without them, we're nothing. And um, they need to be recognized more. If you got an extra t-shirt, there's nothing people that work for us love more than to be able to show off that they're a part of our team. Um, some schools might have uniforms uh, that they give out to them, uh, but if they get a t-shirt from say the lacrosse team or the basketball team or the football team, or even the field hockey team, gymnastics, whoever has a t-shirt, get these guys a shirt. They love wearing the colors and boy, do they wear it with pride. Sometimes they wear it with a lot more pride than we do. And we should take um, a little lesson from them on how to deal with things. So, you know, it's, it's, since I've been out of the loop for a little bit, a couple of years, I notice it even more now how hard these guys are working to just try to keep it together. Um, there's 30, 40% reductions in these staffs, but yet they still get it going and they're still going to open up school on day one for everybody. So ADs, don't forget your, uh, your staffs. Don't forget your blue collar. They mean a lot to the organization. They mean a lot to you and they get things done for us. So once again, it's Jim for the Three Minute AD. Check out the podcast on the AD Vantage Point. We have no sponsors. It's the NYS AAA, man, New York State Athletic Administrative Association sponsoring this, and they let me go as much as I need to. If you want to check out the app, do so. Uh, QR code is there. You'll see this on Twitter in a little bit and post it on YouTube. So good luck to you guys this year. Remember, relationships are the key, not just with the coaches, the kids, and the community. It's all about the blue collar, man. So you guys have a great one. God bless you. And we look forward to talking to you soon.